Once you've summarized and you got this dashboard, what do we want to do with them? We want to infer. Inferring. So now we have the gist of every review of everything of our business. Now, are they good? Are they bad? Are they positive? Is the guy angry in it? Is, uh, so that's what we're going to extrapolate. This is inferring. Import open AI, get completion by now, you know. And that's, remember that lamp review? Now, is the sentiment positive or negative? This goes all in a database where it's just a true or false. Is it positive, negative? And then you can just go, give me all the negative. Why are they negative? Let's check it out. The sentiment of the product review is positive. Okay. What is the sentiment of the following product review, which is delimited by triple brackets? Give your answers, an answer as a single word. Give your answer as a single word, positive or negative? Positive, okay. How about this? Include no more than five items in the list. Format your answer as a list of lowercase words separated by comma. Identify a list of emotions that the writer of the following review is expressing. You can be creative with prompts. You can really go wild. It's not a computer where you go like, oh no, you got the comma. It is a computer. But now, nuance has been introduced in the computer. It used to be that you make a comma wrong and it just doesn't work because computers were stupid like that. They were very fast and they had very me good memory, but we were like, man, computers are dumb. Just one comma and you don't get it. Now it gets it. All this red could be anything. It's not like you write something else. It's the prompt and it reads the prompt because it's open AI. It's a language model. You're using language. It's better if it's precise for these applications. And there's another aspect of this that we're going to go check out. For all of these models, look at this. We set the temperature to zero. What is the temperature? The temperature is a number from zero to one or from one to a hundred, whatever is a percentage. And the percentage is the amount of randomness that you want the model to have. In these kinds of applications, we want them to be reliable. And if it says negative or positive, we just want it to say negative or positive. We just want like a definite answer. So the temperature, we set it as zero. Zero means very boring, very deterministic, but also it can, it can be repetitive, but that's the thing. The more you put the temperature up, the more it's like a little bit more creative, but it could say something wrong. But it could be very surprising and very human. Just like humans, you know, they say something wrong sometimes. Fun fact for like an essay or for like a writing that sounds kind of human, uh, a temperature of 0.7. 0.7, 70% seems ideal. I use it for my Shakespeare. Sentiment positive or negative. Identify anger. Uh, let me know if it's uh, expressing anger. No, it's not expressing anger. Okay. Now you can do it all at the same time. Extract product and company name from customer review. Can you tell me what it is and what brand is it? And that's when it does it. It's already done, but here, identify. Okay, it's item, lamp brand lumina and you can do it all at the same time so identify the item for the review text sentiment positive or negative is he angry is the customer angry what is the item what company made it and here it is you got it all sentiment positive anger no anger item lamp with additional storage brand lumina you did it all imagine how long it took that's another part of inferring is extrapolating information from um an article. So this is, imagine you have like stories, like an article. In recent survey conducted by the government public sector employees where there's a whole article and you want to just infer five topics, like extrapolate. Let's say you're maybe monitoring, uh, you like NASA and uh, everything about NASA and uh, you want to monitor every time a story comes out with NASA. Well, here it is, topic list. And let's say, okay, we're, we're monitoring these five different topics, government survey, job satisfaction, NASA, social security administration, and employee concern. That's what I want to know. Every article that comes out, monitor for that. Well, determine whether each item in the following list of topics is a topic in the text below, which is delimited with triple bat matrix, the delimiter, 
Give your answer as a list with zero or one for each topic. List of topics, you give the list of topic, and then you give the story, and it says, yeah, in this example, it's used an example where all of the topics are in it, so there's one for each, okay? Another article, it might be zero, 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 one zero 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 one zero because it, it just talks about social security administration it doesn't talk about all the others let's say you want to determine whether each item in the following list of topics is a topic in the text below which is delimited with triple bad tricks that we did that now let's say we really want an alert when it's nasa then you say government survey blah 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 if topic is nasa Print alert, print, just like, you know, show me alert. Uh, new NASA story, and that's it. Government survey, yes, mention, 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 mention. And because NASA is mentioned, alert, new NASA story. And then you can play yourself. We're almost done. Isn't this fun? Isn't this exciting? Not for some, but for some, I mean, for some of us, for whoever's watching so far, I'll tell you that much.